Kelly is here with Catholic <laughs> Charities. Uh, you want to talk about 2023 being a big year. I think that y'all know if anybody knows about that. The need is big. The need is big. 23 has been a huge year. It's been a huge year for successes, but also for challenges. Oh, I'm, listen, I'm glad you said the successes first. Tell me, give me a little bit of a rundown, uh, things that y'all are doing to help. I know that you've made some new uh, things for mothers, expected let's, mothers. Yeah, let's start with our new yeah, program, yeah. A Success. We opened Joseph's Project this year. Joseph's Project is designed to help uh, pregnant moms. Uh, we want to get them referred in for prenatal care. Without prenatal care, the mortality rate between our mom and the child is so much higher. Sure. So that's addressing item number one. But it doesn't stop there as these uh, young families, and I say young families, young, I should probably scratch out of that. It's focused around the kid. We can serve families with kids three years old or younger. Aww. And as long as they're the, uh, the uh, legal guardian, sorry, not my... I've had no coffee yet today, so I'm a little, <laughs> I'm Jeff. on second cup with no coffee. Jeff, I totally know. I can relate. Listen, but, you're, we were in such a hurry, but, so, but you so want yeah, to help families. Well, yeah, we want to help families, and we provide parenting uh, classes, coaching, uh, tutoring, mentoring, as well as uh, product items like diapers, sure. far, formula wipes, things that young families need to help get them started. Listen, and that is a big thing because I'm, I mean, diapers, if you don't have diapers, oh gosh. I mean, and it just is, just goes, I mean, for a couple of years there, I think. It brings back memories of when we first had our children that you buy diapers and think, oh, this is great. Oh, what, what to do it again next more. week? More, more, And it yeah. just gets more and more and more. Yeah. So. Well, I'm so glad that you have that program. What, how did that come about, and what was that for Catholic the Charities? The program, it, it was really a, almost a six-year process from when I, I met uh, Monica Sullivan, who's our program director, uh, she ran a similar program uh, of that up in Dumas. Oh. And, and she uh, really advocated for us that, that there was a need in Amarillo, and especially when we moved from, from Donovan Circle out to Northeast oh. 24th and Grand, that in that part of town, there's a, a much deeper need. Sure. And so once that move happened, she really doubled down her, her pressure on me, Jeff, you need to look at this, you need to look at this, yeah. and brought it to my board. and. Uh, after a, a series of discussions about it, we agreed that, yeah, we, that's a need that we need to fill. So here we are. Well, I'm so glad. How many, just off the top, I don't want you to put you on the spot, but how many f families have, have y'all been helping? Right now, we have 97 expectant moms that we're working with. Oh. And I don't have a, a number of families per se, but as far as uh, 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 visits, uh, we do count those. We've got, since January 1st, visited uh, 6,500 times with Jeff. these families. Some, some of these are, are, are ones, uh, but there's definitely some re repeat. And the program is, is designed for repetitive, to, do, to get the classes in sure. and, the, and those other items that we want them to come see us on a regular basis. Um, still helping seniors. Still helping seniors. Um, food pantry still going. Food pantry, I mean, that's a big one. That's a bit, one of the changes uh, from last year was getting off the COVID. Uh, yeah. And we, we closed down our curbside. So we, saw, of course, saw numbers drop because during the COVID uh, the pro piece that we did, we threw out all the all the rules, all the uh, yeah. requirements. Yeah. As we put those back into place, we are back down to quote unquote normal numbers, which are a little bit smaller than, than we had before COVID. But I think the problem there is just lack of understanding that we're out there to help. So How, we're trying to get that word out to let them know that we're in that part of the Sure. Town. How hard is that to know that you have other people that need help? You know during COVID, um, and then you kind of had to go back to the regular. I know that has to, to be something that Catholic Charities is like, we know that there are other people and we, we wanna, will you ever get back to that point, maybe helping? I, I feel like we will, because we, we do realize, and any organization you speak to will, will uh, carry this water as well. Transportation is a huge issue in Amarillo. Uh. Yes, we have public transportation, but in, even with that in place, it's just a, a big challenge. And we're trying to find ways to, to get past that and overcome that obstacle so that we can, if they can't come to us, how can we be closer to them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Certainly our move to uh, 24th and Grand was part of that for, for that part of town. Sure. But there are other part, poverty is citywide. It does not sit in one location. Right. So That's right. how do we get to those other places? Um, so here's, those are just a couple of things. I mean, like I, I there's programs that we haven't even mentioned, but right. Monte Carlo night Monte is Carlo important. Night, yes. I mean, it's important. So you've got to get a ticket and 
give me some of the things that are up for auction because I know you and your staff, y'all are not stopping at, at just some little piddly things. So we, uh, we unfortunately, I say unfortunately, probably have too many live auction items, but it's just hard <laughs> to draw a line. Uh, we have six this year. We do have a, a signed football by from, from Troy Aikman. Woo! Uh, Chef Bud Anderson is giving away a dinner party for eight. Yeah. He will come to your house and cook. Ooh. We have two signed prints from Jack Sorensen. Oh my uh, gosh. For those of you who may not know, Jack is a, a very, I, I want to say a very well-known local oh, artist. Yes. Uh, his art is spectacular, so we're excited to have that. We have, this is one of my, a unique one, DJ for a day. Really? Uh, not, not quite a day, more like an hour. Okay. But we are partnering with uh, KGNC and the Eagle. Yeah. So the winner will get to go on and, and be a DJ for an oh, hour. Oh, that is so cool. So you think cool. you can do it, give it a shot. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to bid on that myself. I think that'd be fun. Hey, you would be so good. Uh, You'd then, be good. Uh, going back to the uh, more Catholic style thing, we do have a, a rosary that was given to us several years back and it, COVID, of course, changed our, our approach to fundraisers and it, it sure. got buried in a move, but we uncovered it. It's a, an ox blood coral rosary made by Atanasio Gonzalez. He's a local oh. artist that uh, handcrafted this for us and it is, Pretty spectacular. We're excited Beautiful. about that piece. And the, the sixth item, I knew I was going to forget one, and I forgot what the <laughs> sixth one is. Uh, just, they're all awesome, but there's a, oh, oh I cannot forget it. Grand Brothers uh, donated uh, diamond and pearl earrings. Oh, my goodness. So I don't know the order these will go in, but you sure. want to be there. If, if I, Surely one of those is going to appeal to somebody. Well, listen, Grand Brothers always supporting uh, Catholic charities and really giving some beautiful pieces. What what I have to say, I have to tell on Jeff. Uh -oh. No <laughs> Notre Dame. Nothing. No, no, no Notre Dame this year. No. That listen, Jeff. I'm giving y'all a break. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is a Notre Dame guy from from top to bottom. So I figured maybe there would be. Uh, something, but yeah, I, not, I, I not hear you. Not this time around. We, I hear you. Uh, Troy you know, Aikman. Troy, yeah, Troy Aikman. We're yeah. going to focus on the Cowboys yeah. this year. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I th I'm so glad you came. Please continue to come. We haven't got to see you in a while, and let's continue to tell people about Catholic Charities. Yes, uh, absolutely. And if you want tickets, please go to our website, cctxp.org. Uh, follow the prompts, and tickets are $75 individual or uh, we'll get, catch a break, 125 for a couple. Oh, yeah. Still have availability. Come check us out. Okay. I'm so glad you came. Thank you. So fun. Thanks, have, thanks have, for having us. Always. Have a, have a good time and, and uh, party down.